Hi friends, back to you with another movie review, and this one is the completely other side of Dog Days, so if you're not a Dog Days person, this is going to be the other side of that. So today we're talking about Black Klansman, which is the first um, definitely Oscar-worthy film I've seen this year. So let's get started. So it's based on a true story, and um, a film... At least this year or in a while has not hit me so hard as left me um, shaken after a film where I had to sit. I like when you're done film. Okay, get up, walk out the door. I had to sit there for a moment and take in what I had just seen. That's how much of an impact it had. So it's made by the um, visionary uh, Spike Lee, who has such an impact on this industry. When I was in college years ago. Uh, I had to take film history class, and we went over um, one of his films, Do the Right Thing, and we had a debate about it, and we had to do a test on it. So that's kind of impact he's had where students are doing film history classes and talking about him. So anyways, so it takes place in the 60s, and we have um, our first black cop in Colorado who wants to be uh, an undercover cop, so they're starting him, um, filing stuff and basically doing the gopher work. So he's doing that. And then finally they have an undercover assignment for him and they put him to go attend, um, a sp there's someone speaking at um, the Black Student Union. So he goes there, attends that, blends in fine. So then they give him the chance to fully be an undercover cop. And he decides, let's infiltrate, inf infiltrates the KKK because they're a danger, obviously. So he's calling them, emailing him, well not emailing, emailing doesn't exist then. What are you doing, Gabby? Mailing them and talking to them and then they want to meet him. Obviously he can't go there in person. So he sends one of the other undercover cops who is brilliantly played by Adam Driver. Let me say I'm not a huge Adam Driver fan, like he's mad to me. Like I've seen girls, I've seen Star Wars. He's eh. Like, I don't hate him, don't love him, he's fine. But he was so, so good in this. He needs an Oscar for this. If the film only gets one nomination, it should be for Best Supporting Actor for Adam Driver, because what a performance. So then Adam Driver goes and he joins the KKK undercover, but it's in the black cop's name, so it's kind of a funny thing. But Adam Driver's character is Jewish, which if you know the KKK also hates. So it's a whole back and forth them, like they're saying Jewish stuff and he's Jewish, so it's like, ah. So basically, um, it's a whole struggle back and forth. Uh, they almost get caught a couple of times where someone goes to the black police officer's um, address because he thinks it's Adam Driver and then he opens doors, obviously not Adam Driver, so, but then they make it through. At the end, eventually, um, they get killed slash arrested, it works out. And so they weren't, they were told to shelve it, don't talk about it, it's done. So now the, the real cop came out with the book years later, so we could finally talk about it. And then the ending. The ending. So the ending is, um, is very real. Um, it's the Confederate flag um, riots that happened last summer, and they showed real footage from that. And then it was President Trump talking about how there was good men on both sides. And, wow. I'm surprised more people aren't talking about it. I haven't seen one BuzzFeed post or anything talking about this ending. I've seen, because the film has wonderful reviews, obviously. It's a great film. But more, I'm surprised more people aren't talking about it. I don't know. But 10 out of 10 recommend. If you're the Oscar person who wants to see the films that are getting nominated, this is your first film of the season to see. If you like films that are going to impact you and feel something and the dramatics, this is for you. If you want to go to a movie and have a good laugh, this is for you too. There's some funny stuff in there. So basically, if you don't mind the radar language and why films are going to impact you, go see it. Only people really shouldn't see it are kids, but other than that, I definitely recommend it. Go see Black Klansman, first Oscar buzz film of the year. Yeah, so go see it. Have a good day.